Hello, this is Cranker and today I'm going to show you how to deliver the long locks on the volcano map, which is this one. So, first of all, I will give you a quick uh, description of how to do it by having a look on the map. So you start over here at the garage with uh, quite a good equipment, you have the best the the best truck for delivery and the which is uh, this one and no sorry this one and you have it two times at the beginning and you have this guy which is uh, quite good as well uh, to help you uh, to to assist if you are stuck so this is uh, like an ambulance basically <laughs> and you start over here you have also the small truck uh, which is which looks like Jeep uh, which I used to reveal the whole map so first I would recommend to do that just uh, so you know which uh, route is going where and um, yeah then you can plan of how to solve the, the puzzle <laughs> basically so you have to go from the garage to the lumber and from the lumber you have to reach the objective over here so there are several options the main route is going here to the north over here or you can even take this one and then <coughs> You reach the water, you have cross, to cross the sea, you have some rocks in there so it's a little bit uh, tricky but it should be doable and then yeah you will reach your obje objective. Um, what I did first is I delivered the short locks with the smaller truck by cutting all, <laughs> all edges you can get. Um, Basically, I went straight to the north from the lumber over here, across the sea here, which is a little bit difficult because it's, because it's very deep, so you have to pull out yourself on, uh, with the wrench. Then you go along the beach or back to the uh, to the road to the north, and then here you leave the road next to the uh, fuel station I'll leave the road and crawl at the beach which is a little bit tricky as well I, I had to use both trucks to pull the other one uh, to get through basically uh, it's always like this if you load the, lo uh, the logs and you're so heavy that some areas which are doable without the locks are not anymore so then you have to use another truck to pull uh, the loaded truck uh, when it uh, sinks too deep into the ground so yeah and then you can get back here to the to the road and you have basically the most direct route but we will take the main ro road uh, with our long lock delivery just because uh, it won't be possible uh, to cut any any of these uh, these roads. Okay, so we will go here and then to the north. Or oh, we will we will go to the north over here. So let's start the engines. <coughs> oh, sorry, we have the wrong truck. Yeah, that's the right guy. Turn on differential lock and all wheels, and we're good to go. I will position the camera like this, so I can see what it's in front of the truck. Mm. Um, yeah, I think the 
main the main road is not the best option here or isn't even the main road we will we will shortcut here through the woods so we don't have to uh, do a small angle yeah that that is doable I know that and it's not very complicated just because uh, behind the next hill there's the main road so we just have to not lose our load that's all there's a tree in front of us but we just crush it this truck's so heavy we can crush the smaller smaller trees like like the one to the right <coughs> So here you can either go right, or which is okay, or use the main road. Then you have water, or these, all these uh, little rocks. Uh oh, is this the wrong route? Which here? No, it's the route. Yeah, cool. This is our ambulance in case we need it. I positioned it next to the, to the road, just in case. So, and now we are heading north. So we turn off the differential lock just to get this angle right. Okay. So, let's have a quick look at the map. So we can either go right but then we have the angle over here we can take this one straight to the north I will take the second option I guess <coughs> uh, just to just to mention quickly um, these areas but uh, the surface looks like like this warmer brown, I'd say. Then it's very solid. Um, this is the mud, so always try to hit these areas when you cross the mud, just because it gives you a lot of grip uh, and traction. So um, with this surface, you have to be careful because sometimes it can be very soft as well so yeah if you are not sure try to take the the brighter brownish areas oh okay looks very cool isn't it So you can see the surface is kind of solid. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's going on? What is this? Okay. That is kind of unexpected. You don't want to fall down there but I guess our truck is very long so it should keep it in place if we reach the other the other side let's try go for it go for it come on come on okay it was kind of close I guess we are very good
Whoa. I can't see anything. Yeah. Yeah, good. We didn't even damage our truck too much. But as mentioned before, I have some trucks next to the road. If we need some assist. So I try to circumvent the water as much as possible. Just because you never know uh, how deep it is. Here you can see the brighter brown surface. You can see the traction to get through. So we try to hit these. So let's see. Okay, now it's straight to the north. right side we have the volcano. I don't see too much of it. If it's dark you can see some uh, some of the hot parts of the volcano glowing. Oh what was that? So here you can see, if we reach the, the solid surface, then uh, we have the traction to pull the truck through. Okay, cool. Okay, now we are almost at the sea. Where we go pass come on can do it oh you can see our fuel level is very low we might not make it <laughs> to the objective without refueling but that's fine I will switch to a fuel truck and then we will refuel. We don't want to go to the uh, fueling station with this guy. I mean, we could, it's not so far away, but you know, turning around and stuff with this uh, truck is not so much fun. And I kind of did a stupid thing uh, by stopping before we reached the top of the hill. So, uh, yes, and you have to always uh, remember that if you if you stop, you might not get them get back the momentum. So keep going until you are sure you're like on you're on the surface like this and not up the hill, so you can get it going again. So, again, the next hill we have the, the sea. Hopefully we won't uh, consume our last fuel in the middle of the sea, that would be pretty awful <laughs> to refuel over there. But we have still 60 liters left, 2 minutes, 2 minutes of fuel, to the time. So, okay. Oh, there you can see there's a rock in the middle of the water. So we are not really sure what's going on under the track. Dangerous water level. Yeah, if you are too deep in the water, then then the engine will die and it will damage your truck completely over time. It's like a few seconds to get out of it if you are too deep in the water. 
Okay, cool. Worked out. You can even see uh, that the, the wheels are wet. If you have a close look after leaving the weapon. So, we have 36 liters left. I think we have to refuel very soon. That is our repair truck, which you can find on top of the volcano, I think. Okay, let's stop over here and refuel. I use this truck to pull the small lock delivery truck. Uh, through the beach area. So it's already next to next to our location. I did not uh, fill the whole cistern just because I I'm not sure if it affects the weight of the truck, I assume so. So I only fueled 500 out of 1000 liters uh, into the system. So that should be fine. Advanced mode. We also have a backup wheel which give us, gives us uh, 100 repair points. You can do that as well. And then 500 liters into the truck, almost. And then we can change track and start the engines again. This is, uh, just to let you know, this is the camera position in the back end if you If you have something attached to the truck, you can take this camera position. So, where are we? I guess we could go down, down there. Or the other option would be to... But then we have to use... Uh, we have to past this corner, which is, uh, could be difficult with this truck, but going down there is a, is a challenge as well, or it's dangerous. I don't want to use my load <laughs> in front of the objective. Um, I guess we could uh, shortcut here through the woods and go over here. Yeah, let's do this. Looks much safer. Here you can see the shortcut I just mentioned. Looks pretty safe. trees in this area. So, ah, there's uh, you can see the locks at the horizon, so that's already the deliveries area. The objective. Just go here. And back to the road. And then we are almost there. Oh, objective to the left. The locks will be delivered by ship by the looks of it. So we just have to uh, position the truck inside this, uh, this little square. Come on, do it. 
Okay, cool. So now the unload screen appears. First, we'll have a quick look at our trucks. So it's pretty cool, isn't it? So unload for six points, and then we change the truck. This one, and then we can. Can oh, unload for two points. Da -da. Objective complete. Cool. So uh, that's basically it. If you have any questions, uh, if you need some additional videos on the short uh, lock delivery on this map, let me know. And yeah, leave your questions below the video, like it on YouTube if you enjoyed watching the video, and I hope I see you soon in the next video. It's, uh, we just did it in time before the sun went down, it looks pretty cool in the evening. And yeah, see you soon, bye bye.